most of the people in, in Eto Island Nation State rely on fisheries uh, resources. Going out to the ocean is part of their daily lives. The information on sea level rise and as well as the tides information are very critical and useful for them in their planning uh, on their day-to-day -day, uh, work. The, the tide gauge is measuring real-time sea level or tides and with the, the instruments uh, we're able to, to capture that uh, to uh, a millimetre uh, accuracy. We managed to produce the and share to the public the tight calendars that are useful for them in terms of going out fishing. They know when it will be the, the high tide and the low tide. So uh, civil engineering departments can be aware of what support structures that they need to build for future king tides. Data from the Tide gauges are also used in risk assessments for future development along the coast. At the moment we've collected almost 30 years worth of data. The, the GNSS or the land movement data and it's now becoming a baseline with the, the scientific community. Going on through the next generation it will, it will allow the scientists in future uh, COP events and other climate forums to feel confident that they are actually using good scientific data and, and quality measured data. Those sort of information are also important in when it comes to disaster risk reduction because they now know in advance the dates they might expect extreme spring dates so they can prepare in advance to minimise the risks. Uh, Kiribati is one site of a network of 14 tide gauges we have operating in the Pacific that are maintained by the Australian Bureau of Meteorology and with partnerships with SPC and Geoscience Australia. Geoscience Australia assists with measuring the land movement and then we've got six monthly maintenance done by the in-country support from the Kiribati Met Service in this case. The network of 14 sites also then, apart from just uh, being climate monitoring, is also a tsunami warning network for the Pacific area. That data goes back to the Pacific Warning Centre and that's where the warnings are then issued for a tsunami event. In the case of the recent events in, in January regarding the volcanic eruption in Tonga, um, we were able to provide data to the scientific community around the world uh, regarding that event from data that we captured at the tide station. That ongoing data helps transportation to the community and the Kibberis Met Authority provides that information to the local ports and other industries around. The tight gauge is very crucial in looking at much longer term impacts due to climate change to Atoll Islands. 